Hi guys, before we get started on today's Dinner with Kelsey, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. I've talked about Function of Beauty many times before. You guys know I love it. And for those of you who don't know, it's customizable hair care. So conditioner, leave-in conditioner, shampoo, serums, whatever you want. And best part, they're all delivered straight to your door so you don't ever have to leave home to take great care of your hair. So you just fill out a two minute quiz and you answer questions on your hair type, your hair goals, your personalized preferences, and you get to pick the color and the smell. I chose this color this time and I love it. This is the orange for those of you who are interested. And it's all personalized just for you. Look at this, they've even got my name on it. I like Function of Beauty because when I choose what I want it to do, it actually does those things. And I say I want anti-frizz, and then if my hair is curly or if it's straight, my hair doesn't have frizz. And that's why I love it. So if you guys are interested in Function of Beauty, you can click the link in my description and get 20% off your first order. Now go enjoy Dinner with Kelsey. Look where we are. We're in the kitchen, as we always are in my videos, but we are in the kitchen to actually use the kitchen because it's a dinner with Kelsey. It's been so long since we've had a dinner with Kelsey and I just, it just felt right to do this and I will explain to you why. So, as we know, we are in quarantine still and Cody and I haven't been able to go to a lot of our favorite restaurants and one of our favorite restaurants is called John and Vinny's and they make Italian food and like the best food ever. So we haven't been able to go. And our apartment is not in the delivery range so we can't even get it delivered. There was like a bug for about like a week and a half where they did deliver to us and so we got it twice. So we got it twice but then they stopped delivering to us again. So we haven't been able to have one of our favorite restaurants in the longest time. And it just so happens that a recipe from John and Vinny's is now like all over TikTok and like all over everywhere. I see everyone making it. It's the spicy vodka sauce fusilli. Spicy fusilli with vodka sauce. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it looks, and it is when I've had it from like professionals who make it, but I thought why not try and make it myself? And here we are. So, um, shout out to my Italian grandmother who's watching this video. Hey, Gigi. I told her I would give her a shout out because I'm finally making something Italian. And um, I also told her that I would try not to cuss in today's video. So that is my challenge for this dinner with Kelsey. Um, so let's hope I succeed. Let's fucking do it. Oh, damn it. I'm just kidding. Let's do it. So, like I said, we are making a spicy fusilli with vodka sauce from scratch, clearly. I've never made like pasta sauce before and I'm pretty excited. I'm actually really excited. I'm just like really hoping this turns out good because if it does, I mean, I feel like I could do anything. So let's do this thing. First things first is our ingredient haul. Okay, here we go, ingredient haul. Tomato paste, Parmesan cheese, nice big block of it, garlic, shallot, vodka, sorry, vodka, butter, pepper, heavy cream, I'm excited, sorry guys, olive oil, salt, red pepper for the spice, and the fusilli. Oh, and basil, fresh basil, which I've already rinsed, don't worry, it's clean. And that is it. Let's get prepping. So the only thing I have to do to prep is cut the shallot and finely chop one of these little garlic cloves. But I think I'm also going to measure everything out in bowls like this is the Food Network and then just put it in while I'm cooking because I've learned that I get a little flustered when the time comes to put everything together 
Um, for example, I had a breakdown this morning just trying to like make avocado toast and an egg at the same time. So I think I'm just gonna try to make this a little bit more organized than usual. I can't say there's not gonna be any chaos because that's what usually happens, but I'm going to try for there to be as little chaos as possible. Um, so let's chop this puppy up. This is a shallot. I don't know if shallots make you cry the way onions do, because it looks just like a mini little onion. But, oh, and it smells like it. So, we're gonna find out. Hopefully I don't cry, but has there ever been a dinner with Kelsey where I don't cry over the onions? Okay, so it says half of a shallot finely chopped. So I'm just gonna slice this guy in half, move the other half over here and then finally chop this like the professional I am. Okay, I feel like I already kind of approached that strangely. But that's, fuck, that's okay. Chili, why are you crying at me? Why are you crying? What's wrong? Is it because of the onions? They make me cry too. If you hear any screaming coming from Cody's office, he is playing Call of Duty and that can be very intense, so that's what that is. He's not getting attacked in his office. He's just oh, I'm sorry. playing Call of Duty. Oh yeah. no, it's fine. He's just standing here barking at me. I don't know if he has to pee or something. To answer the question about the shallots um, with the crying, I'm starting to get a little teary-eyed, but don't fret. Everything's okay. I'm trying to make these pieces as fine as possible, but I am crying a little bit. Why, why, why is this happening? I don't wanna cry. I'm just so excited to be making this. So the cutting was actually going pretty well, like I was doing a really good job. Now that's kind of all went to shit, but that's fine. Okay, so far my cuss word count is two. Not bad, it hasn't been that long in the video, but that's okay. Cutting a shallot. This looks pretty fine. Not like I did a fine job, I did an amazing job. They look like they're pretty finely chopped. Okay, it's fine enough. Next up, finally chop one of these garlic cloves. I have to finally grate, it says, one of these garlic cloves. My nose is kind of runny from those shallots, but the crying was not as bad as it has been in the past. Now, finally grate this ginger. I'm gonna just press it. Oh, that's perfect. That is honestly flawless, probably because I didn't have to do anything except just press down with this machine, but still haven't seen garlic look this beautiful in a long time. Wow, that garlic is beautiful. <laughs> Did you use our new thing? No, I, I we got a chopper. No, There's... you don't, chopper. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new chopper for like onions No, you don't, chopper. You love the idea of chopping garlic. But I didn't want to use it for the video because, um, first of all, I'm assuming you haven't washed it. Is oh. that correct? Yeah, you, you assumed Okay, correct. so I didn't want to have to wash it. And also, um, that would take all the fun out of a dinner with Kelsey, you know? The half the fun is me chopping shit. Ah, oh, damn it, that's three. Three what? Three cuss words. I have a cuss word count going on. Is there like a swear jar or something? Um, you know, my grandma something? just gets a little bit more disappointed in me every time I say. Okay, so I have the garlic and the shallot chopped and ready to go. Now I'm gonna just chop a little bit of the basil. I forgot that I have to do that. And then we'll measure everything out. This basil smells so good. So I'm gonna roll this all up like so and just give it a little chop, chop, chop. Okay, here we go, chop, chop, chop. Okay, that's all the basil I need. I just measured it out. So now I think all my prep is done. I'm gonna measure everything and then we're gonna get cooking. I have my olive oil. Now I'm gonna put the tomato paste, half a cup of tomato paste. I'm excited about this portion for some reason. Okay, it's a lot. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like much harder to get out of here. Trying to squish it down. Come on. I'm sweating. Okay. 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 It's exactly half a cup. Pretty much. 
Now I need two tablespoons of vodka. Two shots of vodka. No, I don't want to have to smell this. One. Two. Now I need one cup of the heavy cream. I thought it was gonna smell delicious. For some reason, it doesn't even have a smell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm, that is how it's done. <laughs> I just poured something into a measuring cup, but beautifully. How much red pepper are we talking here? One teaspoon. I can do that in a moment. Okay, so let's go over and start cooking. Come on. I'm so nervous to start. <laughs> I'm like so scared I'm gonna fuck this up for some reason. Like, oops. So scared I'm gonna mess this up for some reason. Okay, no, let's do it. So, actually, hi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up and get it boiling so we can put our pasta in. This is one of those like two things at a time recipes and those tend to overwhelm me, but I am prepared and ready to do this. I think that's plenty. Okay. So turn that, oh, that's not the right one. Good, off to a good start. Turn this on and there's something on there that's burning. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Do you smell that? Well, you don't smell that, but something was burning. So we're gonna move the pasta to that side. Okay, let's try again. Um, boil your water and add a lot of salt in there. Now, turn this on and heat the oil. So now I'm gonna add shallot and garlic. Add shallot and garlic. Stirring occasionally until softening. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, stirring occasionally until softened about five minutes. Smelling good, smelling good already. It says stir occasionally, so I think I can calm down for a second and just let it heat up. Stir, 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 stir. Don't wanna burn my garlic. I'm like, I feel like I'm burning the garlic and that's like starting to freak me out. I'm a crazy person today. I had a caffeine a little late and I think it's making me hyper anxious. How do people do this with garlic? I feel like I burn it every time, but we're just gonna fucking go along with it, okay? Because I somehow can't not do this. Until softened. Oh, you guys soften there? Because garlic looks fucking crispy. Fuck, it's sticking. I don't like this, I don't like this. Babe. What? Can you come here? What? I burned all the garlic. So? Look at it. No, it's not, it's not burned. That's fine. Just take it off. Take off the heat. But it's supposed to, I'm supposed to just keep cooking things in here. And it's just going to keep burning. No, it's I don't fine. know what the fuck to do. No, it's fine. It's definitely burned. You it smell that? Fine. Like, I don't know how to cook garlic. <laughs> Sorry. Freaking out. Why does it look like that? It's brown. Yeah, it's a little bit burnt. Let's start over. You want help? <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> look it, guys. I fucked it up. I don't know how to cook garlic. Okay, I'm actually having a breakdown this time. I tried so hard to prevent it and it's not working. Um, but we're gonna just start over with the garlic. We're back. Um, I didn't cry, so that's a very good thing. So I cut the other half of the shallot, so we don't have any more shallot left, so we really can't fuck this up again. And then I pressed another garlic clove and we're ready to do this thing again. I have my assistant here helping me. Bring the oil in? Cool. Um, yes. Every time I've tried to cook garlic, I burn it, and that was honestly the scariest part, was cooking the garlic, and I thought I was gonna be able to do it, and I didn't. Okay, so we're, here we go. We're gonna try again. Heat oil on large skillet over medium, add shallot and garlic and cook. Stirring occasionally about five minutes. Add tomato paste and cook. So what happened last time? Did it just all of a sudden they all just turned brown? Yeah, they just turned brown. See, like there's one that's brown already. Okay. okay. Now put it in. Tomato paste is going in. Now we have to stir that until it gets like brick red. Stirring occasionally. It's a lot of oil. I like it. 
taste is brick red. That seems looks brick good. red. Yeah, looks good. Now add vodka and cook until most of the liquid is evaporated. Okay, think it's good? Here we go. Now I'm gonna add the cream and the red pepper flakes. Cream, oh, yes! <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, like, you know, you wonder why this shit is so good and then you see how the sausage is made and you're like, oh my God, it's just cream and oil. No, I know, but it's okay, it's not. Look at this. And the red pepper flakes, seasoned with salt and pepper, removed from the heat. It's not done, so let's just keep stirring. It tastes like vodka. Now I'm gonna season with some pepper and some salt. Taste it. Be careful. Okay, take off the heat. I'm gonna switch this to that one. Because this is a bigger flame. Okay, so now we wait for this to boil. This is off the heat. Let's do it. We have about five minutes-ish, maybe a little less, with the pasta, which finally started boiling. Um, and now we're just, Cody's grating some cheese. I'm a little, mad at myself that I, I couldn't do this on my own. But I do think I just got a little overwhelmed and needed help uh, getting talked down a little bit. That's okay. It's okay to ask for help. Wanna try some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we are going to add pasta to the skillet with sauce along with butter and half a cup of the Oh, add the salt, add the pasta to that thing? Yeah. Okay, um, and then I need the butter. <clears throat> okay. You wanna put, put the um, heat on? And half a cup. Okay, we're at one cup. Is it half a cup? Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna mix it all up until the butter is mixed in. I can't believe we're putting more butter in this. I know. <laughs> this is just so unhealthy. But I love it. No wonder it's so good. There we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Now salt and pepper and parmesan. Perfect. Okay. Stir that in. Salt and pepper? Yeah. This is looking delicious. Hold on. Let me just get my fucking look at this. It looks it looks pretty amazing. It smells really good. Like I said, a little bummed I couldn't do this one on my own. But that's okay. All right, let's fucking eat. Looks great. Looks great, smells great, feels great. Let's eat. Here we go. Let's go back over here and plate it. Okay, so my assistant is helping me. I couldn't even, couldn't even scoop it myself. That's okay. Oh my God, this smells really good. Okay. Here. Let's get some B-roll of this. Okay, it's official taste test time. I'm gonna mix it all up with cheese. That tastes exactly like it. Does it? Yeah. It's like exactly the same, but there's like way more vodka in this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little tipsy. Oh my god. It's exactly the same. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. You nailed the pasta. <clears throat> it's perfectly al dente. You guys, it was a battle to get here, but this is so fucking good. Cheers. This is fucked up. We have John and Vinny's in our own. I mean, F. Sorry. F sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry, we did it. I would say this is even better. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Actually, thank you for helping me. Thanks for making me dinner. Um, thanks for making me dinner. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. This might, even though I tried so hard to make it the least chaotic episode of Dinner with Kelsey, I think it just may have been the most chaotic episode of Dinner with Kelsey. So now I know not to drink caffeine before I film Dinner with Kelsey's. And um, I'm just gonna breathe next time. I told you. What did I say? He said, are you sure you want the caffeine? 
Why didn't you say it like that? <laughs> I said it in my voice. All right. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers. I'm already done. And thank you, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this. Bye.